<laughs> All right, so we're going to be doing a Fruit of Grass Saya set review. It's a new ice for set that just came out uh, this past Friday, so uh, March 13th. And we're going to be talking about the cards from it, what is actually going to be built from the set as part of like a speculative analysis. Uh, we'll talk about, most importantly, the cards. Yeah. And whether or not they're good or not. Yeah, we'll evaluate them in a vacuum, and if we think there's something to them, we'll talk some more. But yeah, if you think they belong in a larger shell. deck shell, we'll talk about them. All right, um, so we're gonna start with utility level zeros first and foremost. Uh, first of all, we have uh, Machina under intensive production. So uh, this card on attack, you get to look at the top two cards of your deck. You have to send one of them from the top of your deck to, uh, to the top of your deck. And put send the one card to the top of your deck. Yeah, you mill the rest of them, and that's a coin flip that where you have to reveal level one or higher. Uh, I think this card's really cool, especially because it has, like, an added effect aside from just being, like, big and coin flip. Uh, though, because of this card's power, you have to be, like, directing with it for the most part. Like, you can't really be reversing other stuff uh, with it, which, I mean, can be a good or bad thing, like, depending on, like, what your game state is. Yeah, like, well, you also get to manipulate your triggers. power that you're losing. So yeah, you, you can, can try and force to trigger soul. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think this card is going to be most useful in decks where, like, the trigger of the climax really matters. So, like, most notably, like, standby shells or decks with, like, uh, gates or pants or things like that. Just, like, a plusing trigger on the climax is going to be really useful. The choice um, trigger? Yeah. And I think in, like, certain medals you'll find yourself that the, uh, yeah, the choice trigger or, like, the wind trigger uh, from the, the Machina climax combo that salvages based on events in memory. Well, a card's uh, in that, memory. Or, yeah, cards in memory. Um, I think, yeah, the wind trigger off of that's pretty good if you're playing against, like, a standby heavy or just, like, a uh, like against a meta that has, like, supports that you want to get rid of, such as, like, Bunny Girl Senpai or yeah. uh, Persona 5. We see that less often nowadays, but uh, just, just something Doesn't like bring the press a, those old threes. A, a good back row, yeah. Uh, if you're playing yellow, you play this. And at, like, three or four copies. Yeah. Uh, the next next card kazuki goodbye and a promise so this is a uh, anti-heal effect we haven't seen one of these for a while uh but most notably uh when it becomes reversed you may pay one send this to memory no other text on that um and then while it's in memory both players get the ability you either have to clock yourself again if you heal from the clock to waiting room or you have to discard a card from your hand uh it's pretty all right i'm glad the set got the utility i'm just uh, a bit disappointed that the anti heal comes with no other uh, like use text aside from it just being a 2 5. Yeah. Zero. It'd be nice if it was like a drop searcher like the Charlotte Tavern or just or did something like the old anti heals where it pulls a kind of crappy level 1 out to stage. <laughs> Especially in Kill I Kill's case. Oh my god. Huh? Well, Kill, Kill, Kill 1 Kill. was pretty good once they got the power up set. Yeah, I'm just, I just remember that the original was good. Yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, this is, I think this is mainly just like uh, a meta answer. Like, Bushiro likes printing cards that are meant to like target specific matchups. And while, of course, Anti Heal is more of like a blanket uh, type of effect that can cover a lot of different decks, uh, two, or Saikano is like really uh, topping a lot in Japan right now. And since that deck mainly wins from compressing and heal looping and uh, needs cards, two strategies the entire, yeah. Uh, sword art so kind of, also kind of suffers from that with the anniversary deck because yeah it's akirito and asuna in the finisher you have to pay to discard a card from your hand and then because if you choose to heal you also have to discard another card from your hand uh which means that if it's either a lot of times you either choose to heal or you choose to burn and i think you do choose to burn in a lot of those cases because akirito and asuna can kill from pretty or from pretty low clock yeah levels. Uh, that card's kind of silly. Yeah, but for but for sure, like if you can't if you can't really heal, if you choose to burn instead of heal, you're dead on the next turn, for the most part. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a meta dependent card, of course. Anti heal depends on how much healing into the meta, but it's glad that the I'm glad that the set has access to it. Yeah. Uh, you're on a hill with a view of the sea. If you have two or less stock plus one five continuous. It's beater. Yeah. It's a beater. I'm not a big fan of this profile. Yeah, I feel like if you're heavily yellow, you might consider it, but you can probably come up with better stuff as a whole. 
think you, yeah, you want to play, you want to max on copies of the coin flip before you want to play this card, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but you need a second turn one play. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. But, Level zeros in this deck, like, they're pretty good on the surface when you view them, but then you realize that, like, none of them really plus you, like, in well, the traditional sense. None of them, them contribute are... to the same strategy. Yeah. There's a lot of cards that do a lot of different things. Yeah, it's like, yeah, if you want the anti-heal in memory and, like, you play the Kazuki, like, bounce back, you, <laughs> those, like, <laughs> conflict with each other. Um, so so is, like, the clean cut in the Kazuki bounce back because if you clean something, clean cut something back to the back row, you aren't going to really have something in front row to, no, to bounce back. No, you clean back. cut the Kazuki back to the back row. That's that's also pretty good. Yeah, yeah that, that one actually works. Yeah, it but... does work. Uh, but then at the same time, what was the point of of clean like clean cut saving something if you're just going to send it back to memory anyway uh because then you're you're at like a net zero it dodges after... bombs and other than that it mostly On oh, forces it, it opens up lanes to see yeah, so you can say you're trying lanes, to level up basically faster. yeah let's say like if you attack with three level zeros and you clean cut the kazuki back then if your opponent has an honor burst combo you're basically safe from two lanes because you left one of them open and you can kazuki whichever one uh, the Ironverse combos across from. Yeah. So that's that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, Mitru on a on on this beater thing with the cat, uh, I wouldn't play. Yeah, I probably but either, but... You probably can if you wanted to. Um, so we have a Makina and Sachi exquisite combination. Uh, so this is a discard bond to the 1-1 feeding event that we'll get to soon. Uh, it's Flower Stand from Idol Master Million Live, for those who are familiar with that card. Um... There's no other text on it, so it's just a two five beater, but it's two not five is much of a big deal. Better than two five is respectable. Yep. <laughs> uh, and this goes into a larger level one combo shell that we can also talk about later. Yeah. But I think this card's pretty good. You you play it if you play the event, of course, and then you wouldn't play it if you don't play the event. Yeah. Uh, meet sure what a kiss means uh, on play mill two if you had a climax it gains two soul for the turn and then on attack you give plus x to somewhere uh where x is 1k times the soul of the character uh so this is climax adjusting yeah uh, so Power. if you play a global soul yeah it gets you can give a one soul character initially 2k power yeah or you play the two soul you uh, give something 3k yeah. Play two soul with a level three, give something four k. Yeah, all this is is like soul and power. Like normally, yeah. these two effects are combined or like added on to another type of effect that is more like useful than these on their own. So like Asuna, the Asuna Salvager key thing from uh, Ordinal Scale, or the uh, the Sora from No Game No Life that Top Check adds discards alongside the plus two soul ability. Uh, yeah. So, as a result, I don't think I would play this one either. Yeah, it, it's free mill. I'd probably experiment with it. I'd probably run it over the beater. Yeah. Uh, next card, Yumiko, observing the setting sun after school. On play, you give an opponent's front row character minus 1k, and then you can clock swap by discarding a card, you take character, and then top of deck goes back into clock. Uh, I'm a big fan of this I like profile. this. I like this card. It's, it's pretty good. Uh, hand fixing um, always feels good in Weiss. Yes, and you also... The the 1k sometimes also just matters because people front row cards that are like 1k or lower are things that they want to like be sending in memory are also around that power yeah. level. Um, I think the main issue is that Grisaia has... Uh, I mean, for all intents and purposes, the level zero lineup for Grisai is pretty good. Uh, if you analyze all the cards in a vacuum, it's just like when you, they, they try to work together, you're like, huh, how's it? How's this all supposed to work? Um, so then the question becomes like, oh, do you do you want to play X number of copies in a deck? I guess it's if you like want a green fix other than like the clean cut. Yeah. Hey, there's not a ton of great green cards at level yeah, zero. You need... You need green at level one if you want to have access to UG Drop Search, which is playable level one. Um, and I guess I think the the Amane Restander is also green. Yeah, the Amane Restander is green. The Reek is green. 
Okay. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I might play this card. We'll see how it goes. I think Bunny Girl combo is also in green in this set. Not, I don't remember that one for sure. Yeah, it's in green. Um, your front row center slot gets plus one k, and then you it's a pay one tap two brainstorm. Uh, I also wouldldn't play this so because there's, there's a better sc- brainstorm there's a sc- there's scry there's scry than brainstorm <laughs> the rest so, itself brainstorm yes uh so unless you really need that power or you, you really, really like power, for some reason <laughs> Shen. Yeah, don't play this card <laughs> uh this card's really interesting Amane during calm days um so this is I'm not even sure. If this is like a first for anything, but it's this not seems the like first really time this effect's been done. It's the second. The first time was on a level three in Persona, like I think it was Persona three level three that or Persona Q that pay four put its climax into. Huh. Because that was because originally when the Hatsune Miku the newest set of that was coming out, they're talking about how that card broke, how one of the events broke standard. It was like when you play a climax stock, a card, and it oh, yeah, worked yeah. with that to set up a loop where you generate infinite stock, and generate infinite cards in hand, and then you can generate infinite burn off of like an yeah. on play reveal top burn if it's a character type. Yeah, but sure, it doesn't care about standard. They don't even know what kind of cards they print that <laughs> allow broken stuff in the standard. Well, it's not like it's supported. <laughs> yeah. Um. So this card's a global five, and then you can pay three and then place a two soul, uh, the green two soul from your waiting room back into climax zone, uh, which is interesting. I don't think you actually need color requirement to do that. No, you do not. Uh, but you probably do, or you probably will end up with color requirement anyway because the climax combos with a stock charging combo if the damage gets canceled, which you'll probably combo or you'll probably have with this card uh, if you're going to be playing it at all. Uh, we'll talk about the level one combo that this two soul combos with in yeah. a little bit. Okay. Kazuki psychology test. Uh, it's a pay one clock top, and then uh, add a Grisaitre character from your waiting room back to hand. Good card. Uh, yeah, this card's great. They reprinted Krista at like uncommon slot. Wait, does, I thought Krista was restricted to level. Um, I think she's just any core character, but it could. Oh. Be hmm. Uh, I might have been misreading that card then. Uh, I mean, either like most of the time you want to grab Aaron back with that card anyway. But yeah, um, yeah. This card's this card's pretty good. A lot of times it's just like it's salvage, so you don't have like great selection in the early game, um, and a lot of times you have to like use cards that like mill you or just like hope that you like your first. Uh, like round of clock that goes well, into your level there's a lot of level there. zeros that mill you yeah but then the the uh, it's interesting though because not all of the level zeros that mill you are like immediate slot ins to the deck like the kazuki definitely yeah. is the uh the other one that's a new to high reprint but i'm not so sure about the other ones <laughs> uh this card's good it doesn't matter like if it doesn't combo or it doesn't work well with like the rest of the deck it, it's just an on, like on demand access salvage to basically anything that's in your reading room, which is great. Um, for the next card, we have Yuji, and so it's a, another mill two. It gains 1k for each Krasai character, and then other characters may not side attack. So basically, it's a fat beater, uh, so, mainly on your turn. Interestingly enough, there's a level one that if that level one is in waiting room, when this card is sent to waiting room, you can pull out that level one. Okay. So, that, that's pro. Huh. There are a lot of just on play mill two effects in this set, though. Yeah, I'm just not sure. Yeah, I wouldn't play. I wouldn't play this one, and I wouldn't play the other one. <laughs> so, um, and then like when it comes back to talking about the salvage Ricky, it doesn't improve your selection that much. So very slightly, it improves your selection, but it's still something. Yeah. Uh, Amane holding on to love. This is one of the mill effects that I consider playing. Um, they like printing this card profile a lot in recent sets. Yeah, well, uh, it, I, it's a profile I like a lot. 
Yeah, I do. It's it's not Akatsuki, but very few things in Weiss actually are. Well, no. Basically uh, when it gets nothing reverse, is. You're... Yeah, when it gets reversed, you go top three, you choose a Grisaia character from among them, uh, the rest go to waiting room, and then you just card a card from your hand. Um, yeah, I like this program. It's like on-demand mill. Or not really on demand, it's like when you get reversed. Uh, but a lot of times when you like desperately need to mill your deck or you just want more cards, uh, things to work with in a waiting room, yeah. And even like in the case of the, the two soul deck, you can even work towards getting that card to waiting room and it's not like a total waste. Because normally you'd be upset that a climax is going to waiting room because you either wanted to play it for your level one combo or otherwise. Yeah, or the standby deck too. Just mill more cards. Mill more cards, get more standby targets. Uh, get money. I like this card. There's just a lot of slots that I'm currently taking up in my deck. Yeah, it's weird to try and fit in. Yes. Maybe I like two copies or so. Because th this card can be... Yeah. It's not like a card that's only good during turn one or turn two. It can be alright during the whole entire game. Yeah. Uh, Sashi Fruit of Confession. I think that's, this card was really weird. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'll start off with that it's the only card with experience in the set. Yeah, and th the fact that the card actually just does nothing. It does. Is, from what I remember. <laughs> it does something. It does two things. Just neither one does it do very well. Uh, basically, you have two options. You can give two up to two characters plus one soul, or you reveal the top card of your deck if it's an event add to hand. But if you don't have experience five, your opponent chooses which of those options you resolve. So, yeah, it's just, I guess with standby, you hope your opponent thinks that letting you give soul to things is better than letting you draw cards. It's like, it's <laughs> such a weird card. And it only starts... Yeah, it's not and like usable. You, you can't really control it to level two. So here's a level zero that's supposed to either plus you or let you generate extra soul, but it doesn't do shit to level two. And then yeah, so I mean, I'm willing to to yeah. I think the plusing effect is better than the soul, of course. Um, but the issue is that even when you get to experience five, the card is just worse than other type of pay one rest look add look at top add. Um, if it's an event or character, such as like Million Lives profile this card, that card also gives 1k to something when you play an event. It, of course, doesn't have the soul. I mean, honestly, but... if this didn't have Experience 5, I might consider playing it. It's like, okay, I can do this, I have control, I can either ramp soul in places, or I can attempt to get lucky. Yeah, undoubtedly. I would, yeah, I'd play this card if, but can, if it didn't have letting an opponent attack. make choices is always bad. Because if they know what they're doing, they'll always choose what's worse for you. Level 1, Summer Pockets, Green Combo is bad. Alright, Amane, Eternal Punishment. Uh, so you pay 1 sack, look at 4, take characters in the rest of waiting room. You can rest it to give something 500. And you can pay 1 to send a level 0 points from the front row to waiting room. So, uh, you're in for re-zero and... What's the dude's name? Roswell? 1-1 one, 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 one Roswell. It's this card, but worse. Yeah. Roswell would be worse because you don't have to pay a stock for it. For what? You don't you don't have to pay a stock for this card because oh, Roswell yeah. was a one one level assist. Yeah, I think but it has less abilities and uh yeah, it has less abilities and I don't think any of them are like useful like whatsoever. Five hundred power is gonna mean nothing in most game states. I don't know, popping your um, opponent's runner is kinda of fun. Yeah, it's it's alright. But, but at no. the same time, yeah. At the same time, like you're soon going to kill that runner. Probably. Try field. Yeah. Yeah. If it went would, to memory yeah. when you paid four or paid to look it up to four, I'd probably play it. Yeah, I just played. What as... cards did you end up skipping over? Like these cards, like the only like cards that could be thought to be put into a deck. Yeah. Okay. So, the, so the, I mean, so all unplayable. I didn't leave out. There, there's a lot more cards in this overall because it's harder to really determine what's. If I went by cards I'd actually want to play, there'd be like two or three. But if I look, I was looking at cards, I'll probably end up playing at some point. Mm -hmm. 
a Mane shy smile. Um, your opponent's characters gain Encore Pay 2, uh, which, I mean, they'll basically never do. The real will forget that they have Pay 2 Encore, or it's just not worth it to Pay 2 Encore their cards anyway. Uh, but it has it has Clock Encore, where you send a Grisai character from stage to Clock... This card... Wait, what is this card? <laughs> uh, it's so you... 0035 is what it is. <laughs> like, uh, um... that's what I read. It's a vanilla 3-5. So you, so clock on core is typically a an effect that allows you to gain advantage because you aren't committing any of your resources to get that card back. You can back kill into off play. another dead character. That uh, oh oh I guess you can yeah because on core stuff you choose not you choose, you choose to the order kill of off Mane first and then you. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, so, yeah, the Clock Encore does so This is a Clock Encore that to... prevents you from accidentally refreshing your deck and failing. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, it's a 0 0 3 5 where you sometimes bring it back. Yeah, I, I don't know if you okay. actually bring it back. I'd see it just as a beater. Well, what if you end the turn at zero five and you can and you want to get to level 1? Yeah. I'm sure you do it. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. This card's so whatever. <laughs> Uh, Amane Guitarist, it's an assist 500, and then rest this, and you give Yuji the following abilities until the end of turn. Uh, opponents may not use backups or events in battles evolving this card. Um, huh. It's the AOT so, killer. So how many cool AOT killer, but how many Yuji cards are good? Uh, there's the clean cut. There's the drop searcher. He has a level 1 combo. And he's on a level 3 that lets you free play other level 3s from hand. So may maybe playable if you play this. I cards. mean, I think you play the drop search in a lot of decks. Yeah, but then and does that mean you cut. play... So. You need probably more than 8 UG cards to make this card... Like, I mean, I don't hate his position. level 1 combo either. Yeah, the uh, return 2 cards back to, to hand. Yeah. But I think the fact that it's just so restricted is what is the main issue with the card. Yeah. Because, like, the fact that, like, yeah, like, good Yuji cards in the set are, like, five. <laughs> There's, like, five. five well, of them. There might be, like, <laughs> six or seven Yujis in the entire set. That's right, because uh, Visual Novel need, need to see my girls. Hey, at least he got an actual SP. Shiro had to wait, like, six sets before he got an SP. Well... I'm not sure how good that was for Yuji in the end because that SP is not worth jack. Yeah, but it's actually a decent card. Yeah. I think I've come around like, on it, but we can talk about that later. I, I, I think it's all right. It's just weird that the drop search is at level one. Uh, Meet your Eternal Tunnel. So I actually thought this card was decent. Um, so it's uh, you get to White Scry, basically, <laughs> is what I like to call it because uh, they always like to print the either millet. Or leave it on top. Uh, then it also has the discard climax salvage profile. Yep. Uh, which which could be useful. So like these are like two like sure they're marginal effects, so they're two marginal effects that I actually want to be using throughout the game. Whereas like the that Amane that like. Hey, it's another <laughs> top Roswell checker for your effect. flower stand. Another top checker for flower stand, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think I really just don't think that there's. Uh, a big need to play this card in particular uh, but i mean I, I probably would play it like one to two copies yeah uh, this card used to be played as a vanilla just like a vanilla 2k discard climax salvage so this makes it better i mean i play plenty of decks that run it that way yeah uh sachi spirit of service uh on play choose an opponent's character and cannot move until the end of opponent's turn uh, the AOT killer part two. I that... guess, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's interesting. Yeah, but then what's funny is that, like, so let's say you're doing it with, like, a traditional runner, a mill runner, you have it not move, and then you need something else that can step over it, unless you're tying with a mill runner, which means that you didn't really get value off of the effect. <laughs> yeah. Um,. Well, they're forced to leave it, and if you can't kill it, they're forced to just leave it in the lane for a while, because they can't move it during their turn either. 
Yeah. So you can just force them to waste a lane on something or play over. Yeah, I would not play this card. Uh, I probably. Uh, <laughs> uh, Eugene Sachi setting sun. Uh, so it's a runner, and when your opponent's character is front attacked, no, when your you other character is front attacked. Oh, when your other character front attacked, you may sack this to give it one k. Um, is it a mill runner? No, it's just a runner. Oh, it's just a free runner. I missed this card. Did you? I did not. I did not know about this card. Yeah, I didn't know that we got a runner. I'd rather have uh, had a mill runner. Yeah, that's interesting though, because mill runners are or free runners are typically two k. Well, yeah, free run. It is a two k. Yeah, but it has a second effect. Yeah, I want I want to check that real quick just to make sure. Because it might be like a restricted run, or like it might have to run into something else. Nope, it runs to so This card's over spec, technically. Yeah. In case. Uh, I'd, I'd definitely play that card. That's what I'm checking. <laughs> Setting sign. Empty front row. Center slot, okay. Yeah, so it is restricted run. Oh, is it? Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's restricted to, to center only, so it arm and runs, basically. Oh, that's worse. Right. Yeah, and then it has that sack. Yeah, I would not play this card. <laughs> huh. All right, we solved it. Did it. So no, we didn't get a runner. Um, no, we didn't get a runner, unfortunately. Uh, next up, okay, this is the best level zero in the set, I think. Uh, Either that or I think the Amani is the best level zero in the set. But which one? The one on reverse. Look it up to three. Take a card, ditch one. Oh man, that's like so unfortunate. That's like the best level. Huh. Um, I'm a huge fan of this profile just because they reprinted Utaha, basically from Saikano. Uh, but this is a mill two. If you had a climax, you can give a character plus 1.5k, and then you can pay one, send it to memory. One of your other characters is front attacked, you may pay the cost and return that character to hand. Um, unfortunately, uh, both Saikano and this deck, uh, they're decks that kind of are don't have like the most hand present in the game like there's not a lot of cards that like plus you yeah find that grisaya a lot of times your game states just end up where you have to be comfortable with like four or five cards in hand um which means that this card a lot of times has to be front road um so a lot in a lot of instances this card can be seen as good because it can deny on reverse uh, but in the case that you front row it yeah you get your plus still from the pay one send a memory effect uh but you don't get to deny on reverse unless your opponent's bad um, Unless your opponent is bad, which, uh, I mean, at the the fact that we're talking about this set on a podcast means that we're going to assume that we're playing as good players. You bet. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so it's, a lot of times you either have to choose, like, okay, do I want to uh, be, have one less card in hand, or, like, have to commit another card in hand in back row the Kazuki to then deny an underverse, or do you just want care about the card? Um, in a lot of cases, in yeah, in my test, it's like, Connor, you just want to keep the card in front of the Utaha, uh, which I imagine that this is going to happen a lot in this deck as well. Yeah. Uh, but the profile is still really good. Uh, you still get that memory from it. You still get the free mail. You still get the free mail, and you still get a plus uh, because you're returning a card that would normally die back to your hand. Uh, it's my favorite level zero in the set. Uh, here's our brainstorm. Sweet. Uh, Yumiko, free to confession, on play, you scry one, uh, and then you brainstorm, rest itself, search, brainstorm, up each climax you hit. Uh, so this is, they reprinted the Shiro from No Game, No Life, and I was always a huge fan of that card, uh, except for the fact that the rest of No Game, No Life is pretty Garbo. And yeah, that might also be the case stuff. for here. <laughs> um, it's a scry, it can help out with your the level one event that's going to be shown soon. Yeah. Uh, and of course like in a lot of cases you could consider it a five card brainstorm because if you scry and it's not a climax you put it on bottom then you brainstorm you uh, you effectively looked at five cards that turn uh through your brainstorm yeah uh, which is i mean like more potential chances to hit your targets that's a great thing for a brainstorm especially in a set like this that i think pretty desperately needs the the plus yeah a good card there's a lot of top checking in this set so yeah. Um Yumiko's shadow that extends into dusk. On play, clock your side character from hand, look at top three, take one, discard the rest. 
Um, I'm, I was never a big fan of this card profile, but maybe it's just because I haven't really played in much. I, I've, I've played in a couple decks. It's okay. With standby, it's decent. Mm -hmm. When it's super important to find your climax, it's good, but a lot of the other time there's normally better ways to get a couple cards deep. Mm -hmm. I know, I'm not sure if this is true, but I know like some of them are like restricted to character only. Yeah, but... I think those are just bad. Yeah, but normally you can clock what... Well, normally you can clock whatever you want for this effect. Yeah. So I don't know why it's restricted to clocking a Grisaia character. Yeah. Uh, Who wants the one? Yeah, I feel like level zero is tight. Because, like, let's say... Yeah. So, like, level zero game, I would want to play four Brainstorm, four Kazuki, um, four Salvage Riki. Uh, if you're playing the 1-1 one -one event, you want to play the Bond. And you want to play the coin flip. So, like, that's around, like, 20 to 22. I don't think you play four Salvage Riki. Uh, and I don't think you play was... four bond either. Yeah, I think you play like two bond, but yeah, that still encompasses the twenty copies. Eighteen, eighteen copies, assuming you play two salvage Ricky, two bond. Yeah, I just think yeah, level zero space is pretty tight because there's like a very like definitive set of like level zero cards that are a clear cut above the rest in my opinion. Yeah, well, the brainstorm I mean, include the... the Kazuki and the coin flip are probably pretty far above. I also think that the Amane and the Riki are pretty far above. Those are probably the four best. Yeah, those are probably the five mm, best profiles then, in the set. And then clean cuts also still there. And there's, oh yeah, it's kind of so yeah. Like the your your level zero game is comprised of those cards and nothing else. I'm pretty pretty confident about. Yeah. Uh, which which means well, you don't have room for something like this. There, there there is one other card that will make it into your level zero lineup. It's the next one, uh, which is. Which is segue Shizuru, uh, childish appearance. Um, you can look at top two rearrange. Uh, good for the one one event we'll talk about soon. Uh, and then you can discard, unplay discard climax, salvage a climax. Um, notably, you don't have to pay one for this ability. Yeah, you do. You should still pay one. Okay. It's oh, um, I just didn't get the pay one written in. I guess. Yeah, it's yeah. pay so one it's, discard this is your climax. Climax swap for a sec. Um, interestingly enough, uh, but sure it seems to be valuing like climax swappers more in recent sets. Like, um, cause anniversary got one. Yeah. Sli Slime also got a really good one um, from what I remember. And that's how, I mean, Terry's able to play his three climax slime. Bull shit. <laughs> um, I think, I think this is, I mean, a good thing for the game to put like good high quality climax swappers in your deck. Cause it does encourage, building uh like more creative deck builds that involve three climaxes uh we just don't think it works for this set <laughs> yeah it just um you, you still probably want to play it at like one to two copies just in case i, you... I like the deck manipulation that, that, mm -hmm. that's what i like it for yeah well i seem like as a fail safe i always like to put one climax swapper in my deck uh, even decks that like probably don't need it. Yeah. Because uh, I know Dukaba Magic plays it. Sort of anniversary, I play one copy. I don't know. I feel like this also works well for like. So the Yuji combo that after it gets versus something it gets the one fronted, return this another card to hand, and the Machina from the trial deck, which is on attack, it gains when fronted, return it to you can return it to hand. This can be useful to just ensure that you're able to play those climaxes over and over, and try mm. and stall out a game like that. And with the UG particularly, if you let's say you reverse the UG and then it gets front attack, you choose this card as well to turn back to hand. Then you can use both on play effects the following turn. Yeah, uh, which is uh, yeah. The the issue with the UG level one climax time is that there's not like an Akatsuki or like some really like stupidly good on play effect that you really want to be abusing most of them are just kind of like top check mill yeah uh, look at top two rearrange like those type of like smaller uh smaller impact type of effects yeah but if you can play that every turn for two three or four turns straight you can probably have something this. there you're rolling 
Uh, next card we have Yumiko Painful Resolution. It's a global 500, and when you level up, you may pay two if you do search your Grisai character. Uh, it's in here because I remember it was on the ban. That profile was on the ban list for a while. What was with Conkle? <laughs> yeah, I don't think you a, actually play this card. I think the card was actually Shining, yeah, Shining Resonance slash Shining Force. Uh, Zero changing clothes, yeah. I card because uh, people would take too long to uh, decide whether or not they wanted to search. Hmm. Uh, it's a pay to search. Uh, it's it's also really kind of garbo because like uh, cards Akashi profiles are even better because it's an act activated ability. You can pay to rest search, uh, which of course makes it just infinitely better because you can activate when you want to be searching except you're just kind of like caught in the moment to... Honestly, i'd rather have a takitsubo where it's just pay one top walk yourself search yeah uh this car got reprinted i think it's a promo now yeah it's a promo uh, this is a box is topper a lot of times the box topper promos are pretty pretty bad yeah except <laughs> when they purpose. aren't like cowgirl or how about the drop searcher and overlord drop searcher and a cost zero bomb both in Overlord. Yeah, or, or, um, what's your Utaha from Psychon? Yeah. This, so, yeah. Box covers are typically garbage, except for when they aren't. Yeah, and then it's super annoying to get. Yeah. Um, usually reliable escort. It's a clean cut. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any extra text, like can't sign attack, or, um, <laughs> if you have five more cards in hand plus one five continuous, like nothing ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, on it's it. just a two five clean cut yeah um which that I mean, seems makes to be the it... market rate it was in a trial deck so i yeah i just the fact that it's two five is not insignificant like it, it does matter uh in in some cases like a lot of it kills a no runner like extra 500 power of running yeah it, it yeah, kills no runner matches. kills a drop search it matches with a mill runner, which is unfortunate because, like, yeah, if you had can't side attack on it, like the sword art one did, or on play five one five power, like the other sword art one did, that or even like pretty much guarantees five, it. Yeah, or the Unison, uh, <laughs> Unison clean cut that said if you have five more cards in hand, it's a three five clean cut. <laughs> the card's ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> but hey, you play the Amani assist and it's a three k, and your opponents can't use backups or events against it. <laughs> with clean cut i think it's also weird because you want to this is like a type of card that you either want to play like zero copies of or four copies of uh and it's mainly just to guarantee like triple attacking lanes like with your brainstorm in front row uh during a couple of like key scenes or a couple of like, key turns that you want to use it at so i feel like if you're playing clean cut you really want to max out on the copies yeah which this deck space may not allow for yeah it depends but yeah yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, Meet true important practice. It's a bomb. If you're at level two, you can pay one, and send this to waiting room to change into a uh, two one beater. Which I think the card's bad, so it's not going to be in here. The, the two one beater's bad. Yeah, I think it's like an on attack gains power or gives something power. It's in the trial deck too, but I didn't like it. Uh, we made it to level one utility. Uh, we have a two k backup if you have a Grisai. If the the character balance Grisai trait, I believe. Um, I mean, yeah, it's a two K backup. Yeah, now, under all circumstances. It's In this, set, yeah. Uh, which means you probably play it if you have a level one game that is pretty beefy already. Uh, which your the flower sting combo, Machina combo is. Uh, assuming that you put stuff in memory I think the sachi combo is pretty beefy since it gets 500 for each other mm -hmm. uh mitru false sundere on turn if this card has a marker plus 4.5k and then on play from hand or waiting room choose a mitru natural born sundere and place it under this card and you can change between them yeah uh, i assume that the other one is like on opponent's turn yeah well no the other one is just continuously a 6-5 instead of an 8k on your turn Okay, so it's like they tried to do the Persona Joker thing, but they forgot that Persona Joker was good because they're fat on both players' turns. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the other one's not insignificant. You can do marker compression. Mm hmm Well. But. Yeah, the issue is slots, right? Yeah. Because you're going to be playing this combo, you need to be playing 
probably want to play like three or four copies of both. So it's like six to eight slots, which yeah, six to eight slots for a six point five beater or eight K only on your turn. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, meet your waifu guess, uh, deck, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but her level one comp was better than this. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you have enough slots in that deck. The deck's probably <laughs> looking for slots. Uh, yeah. Rocking on Yuji uh, Tandem Driving. It's cost zero stock bomb. Then at the start of the climax phase, you can change into Maki. I'm not a child in your level zone. Oh, wait. Uh, sorry, change to okay. So you choose a Machina. I'm not a child in your level zone, and then swap the cards out. Yes. Okay. You put the Machina. I'm not a child into on the stage of this into your level. Okay, so it gives you some flexibility. Uh, yeah. Which card is that? Uh, so it's a two-one four K. On play, choose a level zero character on your opponent's stage, kick it to their stock, and put the bottom card of their stock to their waiting room hmm, okay that's interesting yeah again like <laughs> you need slots though and this card needs to be in your level yeah I, I like this as a stock bomb i don't think the change is great yeah i assume that's why the the two one did the two one make it into the, the two ones in there because i thought it was interesting yeah. this is the first time yeah. i've ever seen change from level zone yeah, it's also you can also it's a two one you said right? Yeah, it's two one. Uh, it technically means that yeah, it's a, it's a change in the traditional sense where you're going up above a level that you're you like cheating the card out. Yeah. Uh, which is interesting. It's not like that card's going to be too great in the final one anyway. Though. Yeah, I was like, yeah, you could yeah. run it into things that can't be reversed by cost zeros, but it's a four K. So. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, here's the feeding event. Um, so it's a 1-1 one, one yellow. You salvage, you send the card to memory, then you reveal the top card of your deck if it's level 0 character sent to stock. I've had a lot of testing on this card in Million Life. I'm a huge fan of it in that deck just because it gives you immediate access to basically any of the cards that you want to have at the time. Uh, and I assume that this is uh, the same. It's going to be the same I case I feel like you deck. can almost just play this in any deck, even if you aren't running the level 1 combo that feeds it. It's like, yeah, no, I just, yeah. it's a good event. I think so as well, but I think to do that, you would need to have a pretty strong argument for why, like, the level one combo you, you're playing is better than the other one. I don't think, there, I, I think there's a couple where you can make a good argument of why your level one combo is better. And there's so mm -hmm. much free top check in the set, I think you can pretty much always guarantee you're, it's a costless salvage a character. Yeah, because the level one's weird because it's like it, it works with the level one. Um, it works with this card, but it's like at the same time it doesn't need the card to function. So it's not like yeah, it's not like you salvage the feeding event. It's like you you salvage equal to um, cards in memory. Yeah, if I remember correctly. So like in a way, it may not even. Yeah, it's not like directly related to this card. Um, it gets one thousand like, for each feeding and memory. Oh, okay. So if you have, so it's general. a because it's a one zero four k, and then gets a, so you want to have like two or three of the feeding and memory to make it a decent a decent size. Otherwise, yeah. it's a four k. And yeah, that card is continuous power as well. So if you want to like start protecting your cards, you can play the backup. I think it cards. Yeah, I like that level one combo. Um, usually uh, derives conclusion. It's a drop search and then on attack if you have another character plus 1.5k. So, so originally I thought this was a bad card, but in thinking about it, I actually think this is pretty good because for me at least, I tend to play my drop searchers to set up my level 1 combos, and this is a way to play a drop searcher where it doesn't feel bad to leave a 2-5 level 0 in your front row on your combo turn. Or just have a random card in your back slot. It's, this will front something and can reverse it. As opposed yeah, it to... It only gives him self-power though, right? Yeah. So it's, but he's a 6k yeah, on so attack. 7k over the climax. Yeah. Which is, yeah, good enough. That, 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 um, yeah. It, it, it's... I think this card's pretty good. Considering that like a lot of times, yeah, drop searchers are used to set up your level 1 combo. Um, or more importantly... Drop searchers are used to search something that you're not going to immediately play on the same turn that you play the drop searcher. So even if it's a level zero drop search, 
a lot of times the, the fact that it's at level zero doesn't really matter because you're searching something that's going to be that you're going to play later in the game yeah uh, so this card is a force delay of when you could use the drop search but uh, it also doesn't time, feel as bad beating. to play it at level one yeah it can kill something like it, it definitely has enough power to, to kill a level one um, or a beef uh, oversized level zero and that's like really the important part yeah uh, Machina, a little of the way heart, uh, 1.5k for each back row, back row Grisai character, and then if this is way room, when uh, your Yuji Kazami That's the level to... 0 that on play mills to to get power. Gotcha. You may discard a card to play this at uh, a stage of rested. In the position the Yuji was in. Yes. Um, it's interesting. It's, it's interesting, yeah. Uh, I don't know. You can... I mean, with the free mill, it's like, okay, so you killed my 3k, and now here's my... Well, they won't get an attack into it until you'll be attacking with it. You just put enough, put two characters in the background. Here's my 1065. The main issue with this is that, yeah, they're, they're, this card needs to be in a waiting room in the first place. Yeah. So... And as a traditional like hand trap type of card, well, first of all, it's it's very telegraphed that you have it because your opponent can see it. Yeah. So it's not like the like the Gorilla Grod from Batman Ninja or uh, the Two Love Rue card where you pay one, send that card back to hand, play the level one if you want yeah. to. Well, it's also when your card dies. But they also don't. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm it's not sure a hand this trip at all. It's just pretty bad though. Yeah. It's not, yeah, I'm just saying that, like, hand traps are, like, that profile is, like, worlds better than whatever the hell yeah. this is trying to do. I was, in, I, I was intrigued because it's a card that it activates wall in waiting room. Yeah. Because I thought it was, like, an attack phase, you play the, the beater, but no, it's on death, which I think, yeah, that in combination with the fact that you have to play slots for both of these cards to work together, Yeah. I would not consider it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then this was the same card. Yeah, again. just uh, this was a weird what, event. What even is the art for this card? <laughs> uh, I think it's uh, from the visual novels. They had like mini games or something. <laughs> I, I don't know. There's a couple like all of the events have this style of art on them. Because mm -hmm. if you went up back up to the flower stand, it had the same kind of chibi setup. So, it's a weird event. I almost think it's good, though, if you just want to pop give, random brainstorms. You give anything last three games, yeah. You can pop a brainstorm, you can pop a... Uh, Amagi. I wonder how... Yeah, you can pop an Amagi, you can pop Ellie from Lucky Homes. You can pop... You just pop a bunch of random shit. My question is, though, like, I wonder if... Yeah, let me check real quick. It's like I, I'm just trying trying to think like which level assists or like which like relevant level three assists have three carry less power. Um, because normally you don't think about it, right? Because you're just stuck in back row. But with this event, you actually have to think about which which ones you can which, actually like, kill. Yeah, which ones you can actually kill. I uh, never know until you try. Slot two copies of this card into your deck and see what's up. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of level two assists you can kill with this, actually. Yeah, I think I think Psychon actually no, Psychon is four K. I think is yeah. Assist. yeah, I can't kill that. Uh, Amani Chan's Beauty School. It's a gloves event. Uh, you have no way to get that gloves card back, and there isn't really a is there a stock charge combo. The, the two yeah, souls, but. Yeah, that's two soul, but a lot of times you're paying stock out to get that two soul back into play. I wouldn't play this card. Yeah. There's no real reason to. Um, for some reason, I thought it was a good idea to print level one brainstorms that didn't change until level two level assist this time. No uh, extra memory, no free memory compression. Yeah, but so, it's a rest itself no. salvage brainstorm. I, I like this card. I don't know how I'm going to play it, but I like it. I prefer salvage yeah. to search a lot. It's just unfortunate that they didn't give us a level zero. Yeah, so much. I, I don't know why they didn't. Because Grisai is going to be broken otherwise, man. Man, this is giving me flashbacks to Psychona. Is that one? <laughs> uh, uh, Kazuki rules for being a person. Uh, 
this is like the same art as the salvage key. Turns out they're just using like VN. Yeah. VN stills. <laughs> yeah, they are. Uh, it's a level one bomb. If you have three more cards in memory, it gains 2k and a soul. Uh, this card is pretty good. Yeah, I actually like this for... one. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> I'm going to be confused when I play this card in the Salvage Rookie in the same set. They're same different deck. colors. They're different colors, but it's the same pose. Yeah. Same pose, same character. <laughs> same art. Similar background. Yeah, same art. Charlie. Charlie bit her finger uh, or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so draw a card. No, she's trying to discard a card. Yeah. Yeah, I'm referencing that old YouTube video. I don't, I, know, if, I don't know if you remember no. it. The Charlie bit my finger. Yeah, it's... St stupid old 2008 YouTube video. Um, so you draw a card, discard a card, and you give a character the following ability. When it's sent to waiting room, return it to stage rested in the slot it was previously. Um, it's also a counter. So you play it, you draw a card, discard a card, and then you. So basically, what it amounts to is you give a card uh, hand on core. No, no, you give a card, it does not die when it was killed. Yes, which in most cases means you give it hand. Hey, 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 this isn't a power correct event. It used to only just give the character when it's sent to waiting room turn to stage. This draw discards as well. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you play it in a standby list if you're like scared of the cards dying. Uh, you probably do. It also, draw, like I said, it's hand filter, so. Except, yeah, if you if your opponent has, like, an anti-change clock bomb or otherwise, though, it's still dead, like your card. Yeah. It's still dead. But you should be smart enough not to use it against that. Yeah. But, I mean, sure, you should be smart enough, but then at, at that point, the card's a dead card in hand. Yeah, I would play this card. It, it filters. That, that's the yeah. only real... It filters. Yeah. Hey, if you, play, if you play it during your main phase, you go minus one. Yeah. Unless you're just going to suicide a character. Oh, you use it on an anti-change bomb. You suicide the anti-change bomb, and and then it comes back. And then you hope that your opponent runs, for, forgets their le forgets the lesson that they were just taught, and then runs in another. Well, or they <laughs> don't forget, but they don't card. have anything that can actually reverse it besides what early plays. <laughs> I mean, uh, I... dank dank memes. Uh, Sachin cooking. Yep. Mill two. You salvage a level X, where X is the combined levels of the milled cards. Uh, it goes along with your Sachi level one combo, yeah. which we'll talk about later. It's it goes fine. On eight. I, I I wish it was a mill three, and the X was just number of characters hit, or hell, make it an Akatsuki event. It doesn't even have to be an Akatsuki backup event. Just be a look it up to four take a card. It'd be better. You do you do have increased selection with this card though. I Sometimes. Your room is. Yeah. I mean, as long as, if your waiting room is empty when you use this, as long as you don't mill to climaxes or events, you'll always get something. Uh -huh. But yeah. Interesting. Uh, Yumiko Fleeting Girl, this card's awesome. Yeah. This yeah. might be I'm one of the best level ones on the set. Anti-change bottom deck bomb. Uh, it's a level one for obvious reasons because standby is now in the game. Soul trigger too. Um, for your it's a soul trigger as well. Uh, and bottom decks. So if your opponent is of course like near refresh, it's another free damage for you. Um, and then even then, you're contributing more to like an opponent's uh, like overall like deck state being worse. Yeah, like their compression rate is slightly worse because of it. So the fact that it's a bottom deck is also relevant. Uh, this card's just good. <sighs> yeah. Uh, I'd play like two or three copies. Yeah. You know, probably two. Thinking about it, we, you have an eight choice deck, but you don't have any on attack pay one trigger twice effects in the entire set. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking about that. Huh. Yeah. Drowsy Sachi. If you have no other Gusai characters, it doesn't stand. Then you use an event against 2k. So, it's it's fat. You, and then it also... You can run it with Charlie. Like counters. And then you Charlie something else, and this is a 7-5. Yeah, that's that's pretty decent. Uh, this is a TD card. 
a mod I love at first sight. This is the SP that's going for two hundred and forty dollars. I thought the SP was the Mane level three. Oh, was it? Yeah. This that is... card definitely should not be two hundred forty dollars. No. I mean the Sakaki SP is worth less and is a better card in my opinion, but Yeah, it's a better card. Um so may or may not be SP Amane. One K one level. Uh, on attack, give a character plus X power. X is 500 times number of Grisai characters. Uh, I think this is a fine beater, but then, like, Yuji is a better beater because it has the extra utility. And then so is that Sachi we just looked at. That's mm. a better beater. I don't know. This kills bombs. Yeah, bomb killer. Unless it's a Kassiro bomb. Yeah. In which case, it's not a bomb killer. Uh, advantage combos. There's, like, five in the set. So at like least. Slumber. Mitri to Sparkling C. Uh, yeah, two or more other no. side characters in games plus 1k. And then on attack mill 2, choose one up to one level 1 X or lower character in waiting room. Uh, add to hand X's combined level of mill. It, it's the Sachin cooking event on an attack. Yeah. So there's two Sachin cookies co co cooking combos in the set. One of them is on the card itself, and then one of them is on the event. Uh, yeah. So it really just comes down to the the power level of the card and uh, the climax that it's on and how much slots you're willing to dedicate to the event. Yeah. Which is actually a lot of factors. Yeah. I mean, I think this might be the best of a one combo. I think it's pretty good. It's free mill. Uh, it gives you more cards. You basically can't fail your mill. Unless you refresh, but you're only milling two cards, so. Mm -hmm. Don't be bad. It's 5-5 uh, it's five, five continuous as well. Yes, yeah, this card's in for consideration. Uh, Machina observing the setting sun after school. So for each feeding and memory, it gets plus 1k. And on attack, salvage a level X or lower character hand. X is the number of cards in memory. Um, so it's continuous power. It is uh, a selective attack or selected plus on attack uh, in a lot of cases um, and it combos or it, it works well with the 1-1 one, one feeding event which I think a lot of times you would just want to play anyway <laughs> the issue brought about by um, like s the Sachi level 1 combo is that you need to play for basically 4 copies of that event uh, which if you're playing that event, you aren't playing the feeding event, which is I think is a better event. Um, so then you can play the feeding event with Michiru, though. That is something that you can do, and that still works just fine. And it's they're all yellow, and it still fits in your shell. So I, yeah, I see what you're saying. Like this, this might just be the best level one combo. Yeah. But then Sachin Cookie is on a is on a gate. But then choice, I feel like choice is like equally good as as gate. Yeah, but you don't have the ability to pay out your triggers effectively either, because mm -hmm. there's no on attack pay one type of effects in the site. What's really sad about this set is that it's really hard to determine the best level one combo because all of them are pretty like average. Yeah, all of the well, I, I think, yeah, I think if you had a double trigger effect. You probably just play the choice, mm -hmm. and you just play like eight choice. Let me play Bunny Girl combo. Not like we need the stock or ask for it. Yeah. Um, it's also not. It doesn't keep its power cross turn. Well, neither does the original one, issue. does it? No, the original one is six k if you're all magic. Oh. Um, I guess I'm thinking of the one from GGO. Because I think that was also on play plus. 1500 so yeah yeah you know, just kind of whatever doesn't get extra power whatever um Kazuki during calm days this is also a contender for best level one combo <laughs> just because of the maybe maybe that's unfair because the amane that goes in the back row is the reason why this card's worth talking about a lot. i heard you like two souls yeah so you two soul he gains power on play where x is number of grisai characters times 500 um, and then if the two soul that's brought out by the Amane support we talked about earlier that pays three to bring out the two soul, uh, and it's yeah it's canceled. They were just canceled when you have the two soul. You choose up to two Grisai characters, put them in stock. 
which means that if you cancel once, basically you're you're you pay one stock to play the two soul again on the next turn. And if your opponent cancels both of them, well, that kind of sucks. But you just generated four queen stock. But you just, but you just generated four stock. Yeah, no, I wish that instead of saying when damage dealt by this card is canceled, it's when damage dealt is canceled, this turn is canceled. So it's like once per turn, you stock charge six. Yeah. If you try. I mean, I that think might be a little it's bit okay. Sneaker. The real thing is, you don't have a whole lot to do with all this stock. Yeah. There's no just like um, pay stock, give me cards effect in the set. Yeah, well, there's a pay two, salvage two event. Yeah. In the trial. Uh, that's like the yeah. most efficient turning stock to cards in the entire set. Another interesting part about this effect is that red, or you. You want to be looping this combo, of course, because you have a way that brings back your true soul every single time. So you have a Kazuki. You have both Kazuki level zeros that salvage Riki and uh, bounce back to hand that you want to be using. Uh, but unfortunately, in a lot of deck shells, you don't. You can't be affording to play the level one brainstorm, the level one salvage brainstorm, which you know, a lot of times you can't effectively loop this combo specifically. You can still loop the climax, but you can't loop the combo. Yeah. It's an interesting uh, Sachi. Uh, so it gets fire for every other, which means it's uh, what is that? Four uh, K. It uh, no, it's for each 6K character. Base. It can be a seven K if you have four other characters. It counts itself. All right. Yeah, seven K with climax. Yeah. Well, oh, it doesn't. Yeah, it counts itself. So it on continuous? play, if you have five characters, it gets plus two five. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So it can go up to seven K. The climax is a two soul, so it doesn't get power. Oh, gotcha. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I moved on to the Sachi level. Oh, so that's why we were Sachi. Yeah, I mean, she just has 500 continuums for each other to sign. Yeah. Um. So she's 6k base, and then on climax placement, you either search or salvage the Sachi cooking event, which is Operation Tornado type effect. Um, it's on a gate. This card's fat, so you can back up the card again. Uh, this card's also. Yeah, that's the issue. Like, there's so many level one combos, and the sudden they're all pretty average. It's weird because you search or salvage on play of the climax. I think that might be Bushroad's way of trying to, uh, like, le like lessen the time it takes to uh, like resolve in game effects. Yeah. Like, let's say you're playing Goblin Slayer. Like you, like that turn that you play three Goblin Slayer, you're basically spending like a minute and a half just shuffling your deck. Yeah, that would make sense. Um, so maybe like the rest of these are printed like that, but at the same time, it definitely is a better effect to have it in Goblin Slayer because like marg it makes a marginal difference where uh, you have less of a chance to trigger the climax, but you could trigger the card that you're going to search. Yeah, could trigger the gloves. So interesting card design there. Uh, standby combo with the Mane. 1-1 one, one level assist, and then when you play the standby, you discard a card. If you do stand the character, uh, then you just stand by it out. Yeah. Alright. Um, here's the Yuji. I mean, like, this card is, like, standby build stuff. Uh, which, I mean, you, so you don't really have good targets for? Yeah, there's not, like, there's a good 1-1. One, one from the trial deck that gets 500 for each other in his hand on core but none of your two twos are particularly good they aren't very large they don't do a whole lot mm. so there's one that i remember liking the two two uh the two two red card that has like the whole entire cast on it is that the one that's like pay one to if you have no other rest of characters pay one to stand for restless yeah I yeah but so. it's a nine five I guess in front of the level, I guess she's a level assist, so in front of her, she's a, it's an 11k, or no, 10-5, but... Mm -hmm. Here's the Yuji. They did, like, the the double return back to hand effect. Yeah. Uh, the card's not awesome if your deck doesn't have a lot of good on when placed from hand effects. Yeah, you can combo it with that Amani from the trial deck. Yes. Uh, but, it. yeah it's uh, kind of whatever yeah 
and we have the Machina, which is on attack. This is even worse. It gains yeah. when it's from attack, you can return it to hand. Well, it doesn't have yeah. to reverse, and it's on a bar, which is a better trigger. Yeah, the other one's book. Yeah, so basically, we'll talk about level ones over time. I think you basically have to choose between uh, either Mishiru, Machina, Kazuki, or Sachi. Like those are the four ones that you really. Need. I think you're really choosing between Mishiru and Sachi, unless you really want to play standby. Okay, you think you're choosing just Mishiru in general? Ah, uh, yeah, that'd be my first. That would be the first place I'd go. That's interesting. I don't know. I like the idea of having Everyone three mil on attack. This, so. yeah. All right. Uh, level two utility. Uh, we have an assist two K to level threes, and you can pay to bounce and opponent's front row character. Uh, I think you also rest the you rest. And you yeah, you do so rest. You can't spam it. Um, it's fine. It's an assist and it has bounce. It's stock intensive for what it's worth um, but at the same time a lot of times you the bounce cards that you play are three twos at the same time you yeah know? so you basically only pay one more for this card and you get the, the assist with it so it's fine I, I play it as a one of so you can search it out yeah uh, Amane and Makina won Summer's Memories it gives 1.5k for each feeding of memory I uh, so it could be big. I, you can get like 6k if you put all four in memory. I just don't put a lot of faith in this card. No. To do like much work at all. Uh, you're racing a stock for it. Yeah. Uh, Mitru in quote unquote swimsuit. Uh, on attack with the character across from this is level 3 or higher plus 6k. And then when this becomes reversed you may not use Encore for the turn. Uh, it gets up to 14k. Yep. I mean, it's a 2 and 8k, so it's hard to kill unless they play another level 3. Yeah. Um, or standby. I'd rather play the 1-1 one, one anti-change bottom deck bomb. Yeah. Because this card's only going to be used if you're fighting anti-change. Or fighting changes, basically. Changes are early plays. Yeah. Machina, I'm not a child. So that's that one that and... changes from level. Yeah. Um, play from hand or level. Choose the level zero character at an opponent stage. Stock bomb it. Yeah. I wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. Enough. <laughs> Mahi Roman. Uh, Mahi Roman. Fresh fish Superman. Choose a. Oh, this is the stupid. It's oh, a part no. of it. <laughs> Choose up to five of your characters. Send them to waiting room and burn for the amount of stacked characters. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Oh no! Can we move on? I don't even want to talk about this. This card's bad. I, I think if you use so, the Yuji combo, and you basically can set up a cycle where, like, at the end of your opponent's turn, you have like 10, 15 cards or ten, eleven cards in hand, and you just play them, kill them off, and play all your level threes. You know, I'd be my guess. I'd love for you to try that deck out. Yeah, I probably goes. will. That's the thing. <laughs> there, uh, Maki, no, worst ending. Uh, uh, Anti-change anti clock bomb. And a coin flip. Like it becomes reverse. Um, so, so the level one anti-change bomb deck bomb is better. Yeah. Uh, hey, it could stay. Hey, you can stick around for a couple turns. Uh, I actually would consider playing this Amane right here. Angelic uh, play plus X. Yeah. Uh, X is one K times the number of Grisai characters, so it gets big. And then if you reverse level two or higher, top stock. Um, so it replaces itself being played, and then sometimes it just lives. Uh, we've come we've come a long way down though from the Lucia, Lucia and the uh, Rider two one. Yeah, those cards are definitely a lot better than this thing. I think they realized that. Yeah, unfortunately, I I played probably one copy, if at all. Um, I like this card. I do too. Uh, it's a 2.5k backup, and when you back up, you can discard the Salvage Ricky to refresh. Uh, which means that you refresh, instead of paying two stock for it, you are discarding a specific card. 
which is basically the equivalent of paying discard discard a card is the equivalent of one stock. Yeah. Um, so, so, or in a lot of cases, it is. So basically, the fact that it's a specific card saves you out on one resource that you otherwise would get rid of. Um, and it's a card that uh, I I started on four copies of, which I might move down soon. Yeah. But if you're playing four copies of this card, it's very likely that you have this and, or you can set it up in a way where yeah. You can I mean, this it's not like a. Card. By the time you're at level two, salvage Ricky's not very good. So. Yeah. Uh, so you're yeah you're definitely willing to pitch it. Yeah. I like this card. Oh, I didn't include you that. Pull the foil of this card. Uh, the foil is pretty. I think the foil has like heart a heart pattern on it or something. Just kind of cute. Yeah. Uh, Girls of the miniature garden. This is the one I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, I know. The pay one. I forgot I put it in. It's there. fat. It's fat. It's a standby target. It's one of the only standby targets you have. Besides Played the level three combo. Standby. Yeah, Sachi Childhood Memories. Are we talking about the uh, the what's her name Mitsuru? Mitsuru. Mitsuru, yeah. Um, it's a level two bomb that on attack give another character plus X for X is the number of wets in the writing room. Uh, level two bomb. Why? <laughs> if you want to get rid of their level two. Anti standby. Anti <laughs> yeah. That's the, it, it, a lot of sets have gotten anti level two bomb. This this set has so many like weird ways of dealing with standby stuff, but at the same time, like the one one clock bomb is the best, most effective way. Bottom to deck deal bomb. With yeah, yeah. Thank you. Bottom deck bomb. Yeah, there's a lot of so weird stuff. Has a place in anywhere. Yeah, meet your meeting too soon on attack. You have four, four other, four or more other Grisai characters. Give another character plus two soul. <laughs> plus two soul, but I think that's four or more because there's only five slots. Yeah on your stage uh and then you can say when another character is front attacked you can send this to waiting room to give that character plus 3k uh, I, I consider playing this actually yeah this card's actually kind of funny yeah especially because you can give something else plus two soul like well you, you can only get it to the other standard you combine it with the restander. Uh, that sounds bad that sounds so bad <laughs> <laughs> and then you pay three stock to bring out your two soul uh, and then but you miss Restand because you're, cause you're oh, like you're talking about the Restand. Oh, you can reuse the Restander from the trial deck. I don't even. I don't even remember. Is the Restander a climax? Uh, the one in the set, yes. There's the Restander from the trial oh, deck that's on a pay four ditch to. Yeah, you can modulate soul with the the trial that, deck Restander. That, yeah, no. Moving on. <coughs> Sachi confesses. Uh, oh, you got a reverse on that Restander too. Yeah, that's bad. Okay. <laughs> On stage, all your characters. So it's a. It's a global so it's assist a, for one thousand, but it's also a three K backup. K backup. I don't. <laughs> um, it's a rest a two four rest counter. <laughs> you got that? Yeah. Why is uh, that? Why can't it be two three rest counter? Was that overpowered yeah. in any of the other decks? Well, it's well, it's because in two three rest counters you need a full field of the trait of your. Of your deck. Yeah. So this is like if one of your cards get gets yeeted away for some reason, you can still play it. Yeah, honestly, I'd rather have the three three rest counter like you do with Katakawa. Three, three. That's just a three three rest counter. Kimono friends as well. Um, Machina spoiled. It's a level assist, and then you mill three on play. And if you had a climax, you <laughs> I love how he said blow up. <laughs> <laughs> you blow up an opponent's level two or lower front row character. Yeah. Um. Start again. I don't. Roll. I wouldn't play this. I won't play this because of the uh, the two K assist that can win something. Yeah. Because yeah, this may blow up the character, but the wind can target level threes. Yeah. Uh, salvage two characters. Two two salvage two. This was a broken card in Monogatari. This was a broken card like <laughs> five years ago. It, yeah. It and now they, they printed in trial Monogatari. This is a broken card in Monogatari. Also, yeah. That, enough is said. Finishing combos. Uh, so here's our standby thing. And so during your turn, when you reverse an opponent's character, you pay one, burn one. At the start of your encore phase, you can pay two, ditch two, burn four. And change it to the yellow meter. You can only change as long as you have the climax, and you change from the red one. 
Yeah, I assume we'll get to the. Let's see if we can find. So the level three. Yeah. So as far as the level three Mitri is concerned, it's a give plus four K to something, and then it changes on your turn into the red one. And then it changes on climax phase. Yeah. On the other hand, the red one, whenever as long as it doesn't need the climax for the pay one burn one. So basically, yeah, you just hope that it, that card, you just, you change it to the plus 4k things, and then hope that it lives, and then change back to the other one. Yeah. But then you're out of, then you're out of cards in hand. Yeah. Because for some reason you need to discard two cards. Yeah. So you're out of cards in hand, you likely don't have your climax anymore. Uh, yeah. But I it's an universe to pay one, burn one. So. Yeah, may, you might consider playing it just because of that. Now, if we could, like, heal the memory or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is a, the weird cancel burner mock, you know? So you heal on play, and then you may pay one, give one of your characters cancel burn for the amount of the attack. Uh, so this is good with your 2 1 Michiru that gives soul to something else. Yeah. So you, so you tap for five. And then burn one, for five. Burn five. I mean, and then you tap I did something like that to one. kill Sergio once. Where I, like, burned for four, and then I burned for five. But or the, the love live? The no, love it was the, blue, it was the overlord one. blue finisher. It's like ditch cards to burn for the amount of climaxes and points waiting there. So I ditched to burn four, and I ditched to burn five. And he died. The issue with... The issue with that combo is that Mitru has to be on stage, so you can only you only play two other relevant finishers. Uh, and Bird 5 isn't likely to stick anyway. Yeah. Uh, that's a consideration. Um, this. This is the Amana. This is actually a really good finishing combo. At the end of this so card. When it finishes its attack. Or you can go yeah, when, at the end of the card's attack, pay two, discard a card, check the top card of your opponent's deck, and put it on top or bottom, then restage. So, with yeah. seven stock and seven cards in hand, assuming three of those cards are this and one of the cards is Climax, you get to swing six times. Yes, and um, with the Climax, it's basically like you're swinging for uh, two each time for all intents and purposes. Yeah, because you get to manipulate the top of your opponent's deck. Yeah, you're, you're swinging for odds of sticking two, but you stick three. Yeah. If that makes sense. <laughs> yep. Oh, I know. Yeah I, yeah, I like this card. I wish I had an extra line. I feel like it's missing a lot of text. I do, it. yeah. I, and they're like, oh, the but, finisher's too effective, so we can't let it have any other ability. I can't heal. I can't check. I can't draw two discard one. I can't Look it up draw to one, three. I can't draw one card, get plus 2k. It's like, nope, nope. The card's missing a lot of text. <laughs> But it's probably your best option as a finisher. Yeah. Um, or this card. I'm a huge fan of this card, even though I know it's probably not that. Well, I think you can buy... Well, with this card, you like play one of them, and then you just like put two Musashis as your other two level threes to go in on. Yeah. Um, and you mainly use it for the stock swap effect if you want it, because pay one, burn one is not very impressive. It's like, oh, wow, I'm doing Trouble Girl, but for more, car for more stock. Yeah. Although I guess the heal to stock compensates you, but then it means you're doing it for more cards. Yeah, but it gets around anti-heal. Yeah, and it's the only healer in the set that gets around its own anti-heal. Because why wouldn't we, why would we print multiple ways to heal through your anti-heal in the set? It, that really annoys me. Actually, it's like, well, here's the only <laughs> way to get around it, and you're still discarding. Why can't we have like a three-two heal to memory? Yeah, because there's yeah there's a lot of memory cards. Yeah, like this set's focused on memory. It still is a memory better than Cyclono. Yeah, it has more focus on having cards in memory and does less with it, and has less ways to put things in memory. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, you either play the Amane or this. Yeah. I think you play this because it gets around anti heal and stock swaps powerful. <laughs> And you, and you heal down. So you. I think you might just you run. Can... I think you might just run this, as the a heal the stock, and then you run the Amani as your finisher. 
Oh, yeah, but we just they all heal the stock, yeah. Yeah, and then you can run, like, two of this to just heal the stock. You can run some Musashis, and you can run the Amani. Yeah. And say, fuck it. Uh, as far as other level threes are concerned, uh, we have the Kazuki early play Musashi. Because... That you're never going to early play. Yep. It, on play, it's a 11k, and then it's a Musashi. It doesn't do a whole lot else. Which reads, uh, when opponent's can damage is cancelled, you mill a top card of your deck, and you burn for the level of that card plus one. Uh, it's, yeah, this card's pretty good. The issue is that, like, yeah, you need to field this card in front row. So, if you're playing a Mane Restanders, you don't want to play this card. Mm. Um, and if you're playing the Yumiko I mean, swap, if you're playing the Amane... Let's say you're at if you're at six stock, you can play two Amani and play one Musashi, and that way you still get two restands plus the Musashi. You just have to swing with Musashi first because mm -hmm. you need seven stock to triple Amani. I think Musashi is also less effective when you're scrying the opponent's deck as yeah, well. Yeah, so but if it's the it's first like... swing, you're oh yeah, and that you you attack five times. Yeah. Five times of potential Musashi burn, or hit for three, which isn't that bad either. Yeah, it is. It is definitely good insurance though, too, if you uh, do it in the middle of the attack phase, because you can attack with the Amane restand, then attack with the Kazuki, and then you scry something to the bottom, and then if you hit it, it's awesome because you hit the damage, and if they can't, yeah, so it's just like an insurance that way. Yeah, because you're trying to hit the damage for sure, but Mus yeah, Musashi. Only has text. I mean, cancel. outside of triple mana, I feel like the second best end game is triple Musashi, which is kind of sad. It's I don't know. I like Musashi. It's like this is like old old little Buster's tier end game. It's like old Fate tier end game. Old Fate tier end game. Mono yellow Fate Saber Shiro. Yeah, except the <laughs> GBW is better. Yeah. Uh, we talked about this Michiru. Uh, this Machina is an early play. PF four more others. Um, it's a heal on play, and then you have two or more cards in memory, plus three Also, continuous. this card focuses on having cards in memory. Why does it heal to waiting room? It, it's clearly designed to play with having multiple things in memory. Why can't it get around the anti-heal? Why can't it be a well, heal, it, heal to stock or heal to memory? Just do anything to not... Yeah, it should, it should have definitely healed to memory in that one. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. You don't play this card because you play anti-heal in your shell. Yeah. <laughs> or you might just not play... It's like... You're almost at a point where you just don't play the anti-heal because all of your level 3s don't get... No, your level 3s get around it. It's how I feel. There's some decks where it's like... I just don't play this one good card that we have because for some reason they're like, yeah, we'll give you this, but we won't give you any way to work around it. Yeah, and you don't even have, like, a, a look at top X early play. Yeah, you do. Well, I don't think. Oh, you don't have, don't have an early play now. You, yeah, you have, look at, you have a look at top X. Which... So, basically, if you play against standby in this deck, you just hope that you get your Yumiko anti-change clock, or bottom deck bombs, or you're done. Yeah. Uh, in that, even in those cases, you're probably still done anyways. Yeah. Uh, so, you dig X on play... Uh, with this Yumiko Raison Detra, and then discard two cards, and then you can give a character plus 7k. Now, you know, if you have like a clock kicker, that might matter. It's like, but you don't. Nothing cares about reversing stuff at your level 3. Does your restand have to reverse? No, it doesn't. No. Oh, those cards, that card's yeah, pretty good. The, the restand from your trial deck cares about reversing, but. Well. The Amane doesn't. The, the standby card cares about reversing, but you're already going to throw away so many cards to make that work. That... Mm -hmm. uh, here's an idea with this next Sachi card. So we talked before about how your two soul combo, there's nothing to spend stock on. Uh, this is definitely a huge stock. Yeah, combo. you play the two soul combo, you're also playing the 2 2 event as a 4 of, just so you can keep on putting cards in hand. Yeah. And you pay two, ditch one. Burn for a number of events in your waiting room, uh, which locks you into having events. Uh, yeah. But you probably only you probably want to play like whatever like four. The issue is that the best event to play in an empty shell is the fishing event. 
feeding. Uh, or f yeah, feeding. The feeding event. I but mean, Sachin cooking is not terrible memory. either. Yeah, it's not terrible, but then, yeah, if you're playing the level 1 combo that stocks, you can't play the level 1 combo that gets Sachin and Cookie. Yeah, yeah, no, you, so. play, you, you play, like, the 2-2 two -two event and the Charlie event, the, the thing doesn't die when it's killed. And that way you can keep your two soul beaters alive. Oh god, my head hurts. <laughs> yeah, I had to put this together and think about all of this. <laughs> Amane, observing the study, setting sun after school... We got two more other side characters plus 2k. I'll play you salvage and then resonance. When your opponent of this card becomes reversed, you discard card, reveal a copy of this card from your hand, burn one. Uh, so you so it offers an outlet for you to salvage the same copy of this card. Um, yeah, I yeah, this card's bad. Yeah. Why do you want to dedicate this card for any other reason? Why do you have to discard to the effect? Why do you have to discard? Why, do you why can't need I to just? Resonate to burn well, why one? Can, I, if it just had to resonate, I'd settle for it. But having to discard and then resonate isn't the the level three Mitru with standby is better. Yeah, right. It, it it's one k less power. That that's the only difference. Yeah, it's just better. Yeah, and you don't have to resonate. I guess you don't salvage. So, yeah. Amani usually with you forever. Forever on play, you may play a character from hand with level equal to or lower than the level against UK. So Mega Me free play. Uh, then on play, choose an opponent's character, send it to memory, then place it back on stage and slide your choice. Of the opponent's yeah, choice. So got, yeah, so if it got uh, effect. So flicker away their rider or their priestess before the attack phase. Yes. And um, then give that's... them a middle finger. That seems all right. You might play it as a one. I mean, that's one of the better level threes, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, then we got Kazuki, omnipotent, omnipotent on play on on nip on ama 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 Kazuki omnipotent <laughs> on play. Okay, zoom draw, draw one, <laughs> and then choose an opponent's character. Uh, it gains during battles of lobby. This players may not use event or backups abilities. Then on attack, you may discard your side character. If you do, mill the bottom two of opponent's deck, then burn for number of climaxes hidden. Huh. So, you... <laughs> so, it's an anti-backup, but it comes at the cost of only milling the bottom four of opponent's, opponent's deck. Yeah. I think you also did so discard. So, think about player. it this way. You use the Amane to put two... You use the Amane restander to put climaxes on the bottom of the opponent's deck. And then you attack oh with this cause of to even, mill the climaxes at the burn. Like, don't even say that. That's assuming that Amane is scrying climaxes from the top of their deck to the bottom anyway. Well, you're not going to... If it's not a climax, you're going to leave them on top, so... Yeah, but I'm saying, like, you need an awful lot of faith to think that you're going to scry climaxes to the bottom of the deck with this card yeah or with the amane because otherwise the card does nothing for the most part y you hope to get lucky you pull a dirty yeah, harry and like and amane doesn't even need to reverse yeah that's the, that's the best part of this whole entire thing these cards just don't even work with each other yeah and they aren't even good on their own yeah <laughs> the cards aren't even good on their own and they don't work with other cards Oh, again, this like I said, this feels exactly like Saikano set one. This set so garbage. Sachi, Sachi, observing the setting sun after school. You discard a card. You you can search for an event and then on attack, you give another character plus one point five k. Um, so you can get your uh, rest counter. You can get your two two salvage. Event. Two two salvage event level three. Where you want to be spending your stock on other things. You get your last copy of feed and get all four in memory. Yeah. All right, moving on. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, daughter of the secluded room. On play, all characters you control get plus 3k. And you can pay for ditch two when you reverse the opponent's card you restand. See, I actually think that this is a decent card on its own. It just doesn't do jack shit in this set. I really yeah. like the idea of just giving a global 3k on play. Yeah. And um, a and bad restand is just whatever. 
pay for ditch two is a hefty cost. And you want to be playing other restand. You want to put you playing other finishers. Yeah. <coughs> but nothing really cares about my so. Yeah. Um, and then we have the Amani Healer that saves itself. I don't know why you'd want to save this card that late in the game. Yeah. It, uh, if you're playing standby, maybe it's better than standbying out the two two. This has one. This has five hundred more power. And if it's in front of the level assist, it actually has a thousand more power because it'd be an eleven yeah. five instead of ten five. Yeah, and uh, f that's the the whole entire Grisaia set, or as far as the cards that are even at least semi relevant. Yeah. Uh, it, in terms um, of final thoughts, yeah, this makes me feel exactly like Psychono did the set one. Psychono. Set one. Man, I'm disappointed. Yeah, I'm not. I'm very disappointed as well. I'm not. I think if we're lucky, this card, this deck may see its way into like bottom of tier two. It might. It might. We, it'll get representation by. It'll show up by sheer representation numbers. Yeah. Or there really might. Japan really or for all I know, there's something that I'm not seeing that it turns out in like three months. Holy shit! How didn't we realize this? And I can build that. But otherwise, I'll probably just build Restandard plus the Choice Michiru and go in on it and see, just run all of the good cards and hope it works out. Man, I'm just so disappointed. Yeah, there's nothing special about this <laughs> set at all. There's not. I don't. Aside from Anti Heal, yeah, there's nothing. Aside from the, the discard Anti Heal, there's no reason to play the set. Yeah. Uh, I, you can play three Climax decks. Because you can run the meat shrew, then you can run the restander and the stock dump. But then do you have the space for that? Actually, it's a lot easier to fit the space for that than fitting two level one combos. Oh, man, it's just because you only need like three slots for one of the level threes. You can only, you only need to run like two heal to stock. I feel like this is definitely a huge tone shift from our sort of set review. Well, one of those <laughs> sets was extremely about, but... pushed, and this is. This is like 20. I just don't know why this set once. wasn't like bad 2018 era. Like Steins Gate, no game, no life tier, bad. Yeah. I mean, wait, probably not that well, bad, no. but like. No, there are redeeming is... features to the set. Again, I think the Amane just... combo is really, really good at level 3. But. Yeah, it's just missing a lot of And Musashi's so just do... good in general. Yeah. Um. Well, that that's it, I guess. Ho hopefully, I'm I'm wishing that this podcast doesn't age well and we are missing something. But I'm it, praying. No, it'll get a promo that breaks it wide open, or get set two. Yeah. More likely, it'll get a set two that breaks it wide open, and like three yes. cards from set one actually matter and skyrocket in price. <laughs> like the Kazuki oh, that no. prevents front attacking probably will matter. And then yeah, maybe the brainstorm. the brainstorm, maybe the Amane that mills three. Yeah, those are the cards that would be played. It's all it's always uh, level or, three. Yeah, it, yeah, it's basically the. I think that the Amane level three combo. Eh, I don't know. Or yeah, or the Amane level three I, combo gets like a level two support that says like at start of like when you play climax, pay one, like choose a card from waiting room. Yeah, put it on top of deck or like something that like you know that two one whiz. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're from. Uh, yeah, just like yeah, some support that helps out the the finishing combo. Or, honestly, I feel like if it just had a, st a fantastic level one combo and a little more uniformity at level zero, you know what you're doing. Also, what if the Amane Restanders Climax was the two soul <laughs> that, that would that you could pay? Through. You know what? Actually, that, that would make that a lot easier to run. Because then you yeah. just say, okay, two soul and then another advantage combo. It's like playing Puyo. Yeah. Yeah, that would be way better. And then you'd always be able to get your combo. You'd be either your stock charge. You're probably just going to try and play Climax every single turn. And you're either going to stock charge or generate advantage. You probably run the choice as your other combo. Oh, man. Let's not talk about... Oh, no. I would have loved that attack. That would have been fun. Yeah. Well, no, not like this. <laughs> well, we can probably call it into the recording. Uh, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching this Grisaia set review.
Uh, if we said anything stupid, or you think that we're wrong, uh, there's a build. There's a build that actually works for this set. That's like actually like makes it into tier one somehow. Feel free to comment below and tell us all about it. Yeah. Please. Let us know. Please. I'll uh, try we'll anything. Hopefully, see you again for a key key anniversary set reveal or set review because we're both building decks from that set. Yeah. Yeah. We could also talk about Albuda at some point. Uh, subscribe to the channel Sacks and Snacks and Stacks. Uh, we upload tournament games uh, when it's when a virus isn't going around. When we're not all shut world. down. When we're, yeah, when we're not shut down. Uh, and yeah, that, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, see you later. Bye.